first round complete then, Dave Moorcroft, what have you learned from tonight's three races? Uh, um, we're confirmed that it's hot and humid and the poor blokes are going to be dead shattered after reading that and having to come out again tomorrow. Morapini looked good there. Um, the Africans are the main challenge, uh, Paul Bitok qualified, Neon Garber who's really a 1500 metre runner moving to 5000, again he looked quite comfortable tonight. Bob Kennedy is the great local hope. Um, he broke 13 minutes for 5,000, the first non-African to do that. And I think in normal circumstances, if it wasn't as hot and humid, then I think that he could challenge the, the Africans. But it's got to be a, a great help to them, the fact that it is hot and humid. And uh, you know, the rest of the world will be do doing battle to try and stay with them. You would expect that it'll be considerably faster tomorrow in the semis, and then a real burn up in the final. Gentle pace tonight, but for sure, by the end of tomorrow's semi-finals, they'll be feeling it, won't they? They'll be feeling it particularly. I mean, I would have thought tomorrow in the semis they're going to be running under 13.20, which is, which is quick running in, in any conditions. And then in the final, depending on what happens early on, you know, it could be sort of 13.5, 13.10, this sort of pace. And uh, it, it's a breathtaking pace at, at the best of time. But you know, now we know from the 10,000 that, that these athletes are capable of running that fast despite the weather conditions. And it is quite exceptional. Okay, Dave, that's the end of activity in the stadium tonight, the end of a rainy night in Georgia. We've got one unfinished piece of business. We were in that last round of dives in the women's springboard competition. Let's resume that Fuming Shah going for her second medal of the Games. We're back with a commentary of Chris Nair.